Hey everybody, Jeff Schneider here, and here's Loop of the Day, number 10. All right, there it is. We'll do a little bit of a breakdown here, so stay tuned. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a great time to do that. I don't usually talk about subscribing because you guys are so great about subscribing, but for all those who haven't subscribed, the button's right down there somewhere. Also, if you like this one, feel free to hit the like button. Uh, if you don't like it, you can hit the dislike button. But uh, thanks for watching. Let's get to the breakdown. So we got... Uh, Two very different grooves in this one, but I think they kind of sound cool going from one to the next. We have this sort of classic, almost uh, cheeky, cheesy funk thing up front. Uh, so let's do a breakdown of some of the parts here. Here's the drum track. Right, um, and then the bass is this is, uh, I usually do live bass where I play the part, but on this one, I, I played it on the keyboard with a, a nice sample from Trillion. It actually sounds pretty bad when it's soloed like that, but you can't really tell with all the other parts in there, so it's not a big deal. Especially since, I'll, I'll skip the piano for a second, I'm gonna go to um, guitar one. You hear guitar one is um, doing the same thing. Now that doesn't sound so hot soloed either, but with the uh, the two combined, you get a pretty nice uh, layered effect there. Yeah, so that's what's going on there. I'll um, I'll keep going with the guitars now. So the other guitar part, or the second guitar part rather, is uh, is doing this. So that sounds kind of nice, especially with the other guitar part in there. I'll, I'll just loop the first uh, four measures here. So we've got that ba ba do ba ba bu ba ba bu ba ba bu ba. Some nice anticipation there rhythmically, and uh, you can see we've got the uh, one guitar panned a little bit to the right, and the other one panned a little bit to the left. Give it some separation because they're playing somewhat similar parts. Um, and then let's go to the piano now. I'll get back to guitar three in just a second. Here's the piano part. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. We have, uh, we have a, a phrase here in seven. The tune or the track is in 4-4, four, four, but the phrase for that the piano is playing is in 7. All right, here's the piano. So the, uh, the left hand is just going just quarter notes. One, or I guess it's half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But the right hand is doing this. So kind of going between F major and G minor triads, which is a really kind of classic, gospely, funky sound. You know, you hear this kind of stuff a bunch, right? And that's just alternating between F major and G minor. Um, but the rhythm, which is the interesting thing here, is going ba 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 ba. That's ba 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 ba. Uh, so you can see I'm counting a seven here on my finger. And when you repeat that seven bar phrase over and over and over again, well, what is that rhythmic uh, device called? If you know the answer, leave it in the comments below. All right, let's keep moving. So that's the piano part. Now the guitar three part, which is uh, something I saved for this moment here because it does a nice job of complementing that piano part. Check this out.
By the way, I got to take back what I said before. The piano part, left hand thing, it's quarter notes because the beat's actually here. One, two, three, four. I said it was half notes, it's quarter notes. Doesn't really matter. So in the uh, guitar three part, I'll just solo it so you can hear what it sounds like on its own. So the guitar three part's just doing a nice job of harmonizing from like a third below. You got this thing. So it's a nice, bright, happy sound. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on there. This is what it all sounds like together so far. I don't think that there are any other instruments to add at this point until we get to the next section. So here's the first loop once again. Right? So then we go into the, uh, the Neo Soul section here at measure five, which, which sounds like this, just to refresh your memory. All right, um, so obviously the drum groove in there is sort of that, that Dilla-esque, pra it's practically cliche at this point, but it's kind of fun to do, so I, I threw it in there. And um, the bass, this I did play with uh, with my bass, it's a P bass. So it's pretty subby, you might have to wear headphones or have some decent uh, studio monitors to hear that clearly. Uh, but the Rhodes is where all the action's happening. So let's break down the chords because that's what everybody wants to know. Uh, I'll play it for you uh, once with the recording and then I'll play the chords on my own. Okay, so what chords are those? Let's pull the piano back up and make it rain. So we're coming off of the... Uh... So we're coming off of an F major from that previous first part of the loop. And then we go straight into B minor 11. You guys know I love minor 11 chords. They sound great for this kind of, a mu for this kind of music. And then we're gonna take it down to G minor 11. Then we're gonna take it up to A minor 11. Notice the same voicing each time. This is not a fancy voicing. It's just going up thirds. And then we're going down in minor third to um, F sharp minor 11. So again, that's B minor 11, G minor 11, a minor 11, F sharp minor 11. And then we're gonna go to, I think we do, E minor 11, followed by A altered, followed by D minor 11. So notice that the, the notes in that melody, the, there's nothing weird about that. There's no like weird, uh, intervals or or changing scales or anything like that it's it's just a simple melodic line but when you put the chords underneath that take it into all these different harmonic directions that's when it makes it sound really interesting and, and beautiful so keep that in mind when you guys are writing it's good to have a balance of interesting harmony with simple melody or the other way around um you don't want everything to be totally out there right i mean look it's your preference right it's music but at least the way I write, I like to have a balance between uh, sort of the expected and the unexpected. If there's too much, if it's too crazy and too wild and too out there, then I feel like there's nothing to latch on to. Anyway, so those are the chords. The uh, The bass part is just, you know, playing the roots and then doing a little bit of a, of a groove there. Uh, and then, of course, the drum groove here is... If you guys want to take a look at the piano roll. I'll just loop this section here. So the way this Dilla groove works, if you don't know this already, is uh, you can see the, the, the kick and the snare here are pretty much just playing that basic rock groove. Boom, chack, boom, boom, chack, boom, chack, boom, boom, chack. Nothing too wild there. The hi-hat is what makes this thing swing a little bit. That's because it's playing off the triplet. 
So that's why this groove is so cool because you have swung and straight eighths happening at the same time. So there's sort of this gray area of, uh, of uh, between swung and straight. Um, anyway, um, if you guys um, want the files for this, the MIDI files, the audio files, I'm releasing it on my Patreon page for all my patrons uh, because those, those people are awesome. So thanks to all the Patreon supporters out there. I'm gonna link that page up here, uh, or here rather. I, I know it's there now. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, subscribe, like. If you guys want lessons, I do the one-on-one -on -one thing. I do one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons if you're interested. So um, that link is down in the description below. I'll link that up here. I'm throwing all the links out today. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great summer. And um, that was random. But uh, it's true. I really do hope you're having a great summer. Thanks for all of the comments and uh, the engagement. It's great to hear you guys, hear from you guys, and hear the questions that you have. And, of course, all the kind words are, are greatly appreciated. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.